we were contacted by the UCAPD, uh, myself and Jim Thurman, we're the two sign language teachers here on campus, and we were asked to teach some functional sign language to the officers uh, here on campus. And so Mr. Thurman took one shift of teaching and I took the second shift of teaching. So he initially taught all the signs, uh, the functional signs to the officers, and so we gave them a little bit of time to practice with themselves. Uh, go back to the other officers, see if there were any other needs, and then my role was to come back and kind of be a follow-up and uh, offer a follow-up session, make sure they retain what they learned and to see if there was anything else they needed. They wanted to know things like if they uh, pull over someone or if they need to help someone who's deaf or hard of hearing, they use sign language. How to say things like, uh, what is your name? Uh, can I see your registration, identification, uh, are you hurt, do you need help, who can I contact for you, um, and uh, most of those kinds of um, um, functional communication interaction that they would have with the hearing person, uh, they like to know those signs to communicate with the person who's deaf or hard of hearing. And so I commend the UCAPD for doing that, taking the initiative, uh, uh, recognizing that there's a a change uh, in the de demographics, not only nationwide, but even here in Conway, and recognizing that there's a possibility they could uh, encounter someone who's deaf or um, hard of hearing. And to be able to communicate with those individuals uh, beforehand, I think was a good idea. Uh, so much of what we do in law enforcement involves effective communication, both verbal and nonverbal. Uh, although we might not have a large number of hearing impaired students at the university, we do have hearing impaired visitors and there are people that come through campus from time to time that we'll have to deal with. So it's, we're excited to have another tool in our toolbox. I think most entities use a, an interpreter. They would hire an interpreter to come in and so having people that can actually do it and kind of eliminate that middleman, uh, I think it's going to be beneficial not only for the officers, but I think it would be beneficial for the individuals who's deaf or hard of hearing as well. Well, I think it's going to be extremely beneficial um, whenever you come across somebody that you can't communicate with. It always gives you a great degree of satisfaction and confidence whenever you do find the means to communicate with them. We do have officers that uh, speak Spanish. They're either fluent or have a high intermediate command of the language. And it's, we're really excited to be able to have some officers that are going to become fluent in sign language.